Uh, speaking of uh, employees having moving, we're going to talk about Mr. Beast's neighborhood. <laughs> I like that you picked up the soundbite exactly where you cut it off earlier. <laughs> Good continuity there, Zach. So people are, again, so, so the story is, I guess, that Mr. Beast brought, like, a, bought a whole ass neighborhood in North Carolina for him, his family, and his employees to live in. Some people are calling it cult-like. Now, I know property in North Carolina is a lot cheaper than here in L.A., so I don't know. I think it's like 200000 for a house there. Is that right? He bought his house in 2018 for uh, 300k, 320k. I got to say, that's like insanely modest for him. Yeah. And yeah, he apparently doesn't live in like a mansion or anything. He still just lives yeah. in just a regular, regular house. And then he bought another one and uh, the second one in 2020 for 260. Dude. Yeah. What a salt of the earth. It doesn't seem like he's at home very much based on how crazy his videos are all the time. So, okay, based on that, so many, how many houses do you think he bought? He could have bought 100 houses for like 30 million. He bought five, and the remaining three, oh, he that's bought it? 1.45 combined. So he only bought five? That's not that bad. That's not that crazy. Yeah, he's trying to get one more. There's just one house left on the block. Well, it depends. Who's living there? Like a bunch of like, uh, is it like uh, some kind of weird uh, cult where everybody, there's like a hundred people in one house and they all like have <laughs> I don't think murals of I Mr. Think it's Beast? Just, I, I think it's just his like crew and employees. You know? Oh, then people are way overreacting about this. Well, there's kind of two levels to it. There's people that just think it's culty to have all of your employees live in, a ho in houses that you own, which... Okay, fair. I don't think he's making them move there. Right, no. I, <laughs> that, that would start to feel a little cold. It's like a you guest room. It's, a, it's, like he, it's like a guest room. He's like, I got a whole house you can live Right, in. right. And then the, the other level of it is people making comparisons to uh, it being like a company town, um, which, you know, is like historically when companies would own the whole town. But I think a key distinction of a company town is that they also own all of the stores and your employees get paid in coupons, basically, fun to the store. Yeah, fun bucks to the stores, um, which obviously is not what he's doing, at least yet. <laughs> maybe, uh, the, maybe it'll be Feastables only uh, in a couple years, but as of right now, I don't Beast think Burger it's and Feastables. Town. Beast bucks. And Beast Water. Yeah, Beast Bucks. Beast Bucks. <laughs> um, I do think, yeah, I can see it being in a ghost town. That place is definitely going to be abandoned someday. What? The that neighborhood? Mi Beast, the Mr. Beast neighborhood? Hmm. It's going to be a ghost town. I'm you, sure of it. You'd just sell it off, right? Wait, is it just in a normal neighborhood? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's like a residential block. I don't see a big deal here. The, there remains just one holdout house, which Donaldson's former neighbor attributed to the family likely wanting their kids to finish school. Oh, so he's going door to door and just being like, sell me your house? Mm -hmm. yeah, why he, the fuck don't they ask for more money from him? The, the article says that they did. He bought them over market. Like none of the ones that weren't on the market, he just like approached them with a cash offer significantly over what the market price would be. And they took it because why, why It says not? the remaining three, he paid 1.45 million, which is like half a million. So that seems like a lot more than the right. other idiots got. Dummies. You got Mr. Beast trying to buy your house. You didn't hold out. I mean, if they didn't like and know the neighborhood and, yeah, their kids go to school and don't want to switch schools or whatever, I could see not wanting to do it. Oh, yeah. No, I can see not wanting to do it. I'm just saying the people that sold out cheapo. Uh oh. Really Suckers. fucked up. Suckers. Suckers. The idea is to boost productivity. That's a little creepy. <laughs> <clears throat> that, that part of it is weird. That's like the Google thing where they're like, we have kitchen and gyms and places you can sleep. We don't want you to leave. Yeah, it's yeah. so comfortable here. It's amazing. In fact, you don't ever even need to go home. They act like it's this good thing. They have world-class chefs cooking for us. <laughs> so we don't ever have to leave. Right. We can keep working all the time. It is a weird position because if you, if you came in here and you were like, okay, guys, I want to do... 
two episodes a day from now on. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that's a lot to ask, but listen, I bought the whole neighborhood and I have a four bedroom house. <clears throat> it's yours, Dan. But we got to do double the amount of content. But he's not giving them the house. He owns the house. They're just no, no, no. There. Like, but it's a four bedroom house. It's yours to live in. So you would consider that? I mean, I guess not. It's just like the, that does sound. It's pretty gnarly. Like the reality, and but and obviously that's not a one for one with. I don't know what Mr. Beast is asking. I mean, it's not a bad. It's not a bad analogy. I'm sure yeah. Ethan's like love is already living in the backyard. <laughs> he's in the bull house. <laughs> he's out there juicing. Yeah, I don't know. The boost productivity thing is a little creepy. You're right. That does sound work is not sil very Silicon Valley. Yeah, it's like you gotta. People need to have their life. Uh, yeah, right. You know. Right. But at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal either. Uh, some people were in defense of Mr. Beast while others criticized him, and even compared him to a slave owner. Mm. Yeah, Mr. I don't see a, that. I don't see a little that. far. It's a little far. Wage slave owner. I mean, it does create a weird, that's, you know, we were joking about it with love earlier, but it does create kind of a weird dynamic where your boss owns your house. And then if you like, fuck up or leave, then you lose your house. Yeah, you don't just lose your job, you lose your house. Not good. Yeah. It's not a good I situation. I, I know when Mr. Beast was in some kind of a hot water before for firing someone, he said that he paid that employee for, like, he said, you, you'll, you're you going to be paid forever, or like, for the coming years, even though you're not working a for severance, it. A severance, a huge severance, yeah. Yeah, like an insane severance. Mm -hmm. um, so I, 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 I feel like he wouldn't just kick them out, you know? No, I don't. But it's a, it's a weird dynamic. Definitely. Maybe you want to leave and do something else, but you're like, fuck, though. Got this house. Yeah. I guess that's not his problem. If the conditions are so good, people don't want to leave. Uh, Mr. Beast responded to a hate comment on Twitter. He said, only I could get canceled for giving people a place to live with no strings attached. All these company town tweets make no sense. I was just helping some people. Yeah, the company town comparison is not a great one because there was a lot more to company town than just providing housing to employees. Um, him saying provide a house with no strings attached, though, I mean... That's well, they not, have to work for him. Yeah, that's not really true, right? Like, there are strings attached. They might be reasonable, but it's not like you just gave them a house. Like, if you gave them the house and gave them the deed, then yeah, then obviously that's extremely generous, but there's definitely a string there. He said, uh, this guy tweeted out, this actually got 90,000 likes uh, when it was screenshotted. What a nice man. Surely a CEO buying homes and creating neighborhoods for their employees' families has no historical relevance or background at all. Right. So they're referencing the company town thing. And then he responded, only I could get canceled for giving police a uh, place to live with no strings attached. But then again, it's like, why do they need a house? Just pay them, just pay them well, and they'll, they, people can get their own fucking place and live where they want. Like, what's the right. need? What's the need there? The need... Shouldn't exist. The need, the need is, like you said, it's that oh, we, we can get so much more done if the whole team lives on the same block, and you know, no commute. In the morning, we no commute. We can just pop across the street, have a meeting. You know what I mean? So, you know, there is a there is a benefit to it from his perspective. Okay. What's did Er did uh, Erdo, Erdo, Erdogan Erdogan? Hmm? Did he win? Last I saw, uh, he was ahead, but not by enough to avoid a runoff. Uh, I don't know what the latest is. He's a fucking psychotic freako. See that it looks like there will be a runoff. I just see it like trending big time right now, and I know the runoff was already announced yesterday. Hmm. Is this guy capable uh, of rigging elections in Turkey? Because I know he's basically a. I. You know what? We should talk to Hassan about it because yeah. he knows a lot more about it than I do. Yeah, I should. All the all the feedback that I've seen is that Turkey is like, it's not super duper rigged, but it's like a little rigged. Okay, like which ours. frankly sounds like ours yeah. exactly. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, well uh, there it is, uh, Mr. Beast. 
neighborhood. Won't you be my, won't you be my, won't you be my neighbor? Here's Mr. Beast in a month. Going door to door. This man shows up at your door. What do you do? I'm going to spend the next 50 hours buried alive. Love it. We love Mr. Rogers. We love it. We love Mr. Reed. 